Hey everybody! Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be making a wonderful side dish and we'll be fixing some broccoli and cheese casserole. This side dish is wonderful anytime and it's especially nice if you want to do something different for the holidays. So let me share the ingredients that you're going to need to make this delicious dish. Of course you need broccoli. You can use frozen or fresh. I am using frozen broccoli. And then you'll need some Ritz crackers. We're going to top it off with some buttery Ritz crackers. You will need some mayonnaise. You will also need some sour cream. You're going to need some salt and pepper. You will need some onion powder, and I'm going to add some garlic powder to mine. The dynamic duo. You'll be needing a can of cream of mushroom soup. And you're going to need some sharp cheese. I've already grated my cheese. I do not use the cheese that is pre-shredded in the bags. Um, they use some type of preservative or something that they put on their cheese to preserve it. It tastes so much better when you grate your own cheese. And it's creamier. So I'm going to be using sharp cheese. I also love mozzarella, so I've grated up a little bit of mozzarella as well. And then, let's see, I think that was everything. I already have my butter in my saucepan because I'm going to butter up my Reese crackers. I have my casserole dish that I'm going to be cooking this in. And I'm going to go on and get it prepared by just spraying it with a non-stick spray. And we'll set that to the side. So let's get this mixed up. You guys, it is so quick and easy to mix this up. Put it in the, in the oven. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. So we're going to get it mixed up and get it in the oven. Now I'm going to start first by crumbling up some of these Ritz crackers. And I'm just going to go on and get them in my pan. So they can just start to soak up this butter. We like a lot of Ritz crackers on the top, so I'm just doing, I'm just at least start with these two sleeves of Ritz crackers. Take that back. I'm going to add one more. And these are the little, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Yeah. It's 13 crackers in here in each little sleeve, so I'm going to do three of them. quick and easy that was just to smush these crackers up right in the sleeve that they come in. So now we're going to let, let this soak up this butter while we get the casserole mixed up. And I will have the recipe in the description box below, but we're going to start with our, I already have my broccoli in the bowl, and we're going to start with sour cream. Then we're going to add our mayonnaise. We're going to add our cream of mushroom soup. And as always, make sure you thoroughly clean off the top of your cans because the top of your cans are filthy nasty. 
because they've been stored in warehouses and in the grocery store and on the truck and everywhere else. So, got that cleaned off. That's our cream of mushroom. We're going to add some garlic powder. Onion powder. Sometimes I also like to add onions, the fresh onions. Black pepper. And some salt. Also going to add most of our cheese because we want to save a little bit for the very top before we add the breadcrumbs. Okay. So now we have everything in the bowl. We're just going to mix, mix, mix. Now that everything is thoroughly mixed, we're going to just get it inside our casserole dish. Spread it out evenly. Now we're going to put our remaining cheese on the top. And then garnish it with our butter Ritz crackers. Like I say, you guys, we like a lot of, a lot of crackers. These buttery crackers just, ooh, just tops it off. Okay, so now let's get her in the oven. And we want these Ritz crackers to brown on the top so we are baking it uncovered for about 
30 to 35 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes and then I'll come back and check it. All right, we've been baking at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. And we are done. Guys, look how creamy this is. Creamy and cheesy. Well, it's not quite dinner time. So, I'm in the kitchen alone. But thank you guys so much for watching. If by chance, when you do this recipe, if you like your broccoli kind of with a little bit of a crunch to it or not too done 35 minutes is good if you like your broccoli a little softer then you would need to cook it a little bit longer to get it a little softer okay anywho thank you guys so much for watching I already look forward to you joining me again next time bye